Man, I wish I could be on a cheerleading squad. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that geek up there. What are you looking at, James? Why are you guys being so mean to him? Mind your own business. James, what are you doing here? What do you need? Hey, is it fun to be a cheerleader? Oh yeah, it's great fun. Hey, I'm a good gymnast. Do you think I can make the team? I don't know. I would have to check it over with my teammates. Ooh, Maddie and James. Maddie and James, oh my gosh, what a couple. <laughs> James, can I ask you a few questions for the school newspaper? Go ahead. Why do you want to be on the cheerleading team? Sounds like fun. Tell me a little about yourself. I used to be in scouts and I help people with injuries. Class dismissed. James, James, I, <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about something. Wh what is this I heard about you trying to join a cheerleading team? <laughs> it's a joke, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, no, it's not a joke. It's true. Oh. Oh, well, that. that's okay. That's okay. people put you down, you know what I mean? Why do you want to join the team anyway? I thought it would be fun and I get to see all the basketball games for free. Well, I guess we can see how good you are. Meet us in the gym at 4 o'clock sharp. I'll be there. Get the show on the road. Yeah! Woo! Wow, he's really good. Oh my gosh, James. I told you you weren't any good. <laughs> That's it. I quit. I'm sick of all this nonsense. I told you he was a sore loser. Come on, Allison, let's go get James. James, don't let Dion put you down. What are you doing here? I thought you didn't like me, Allison. I didn't mean the things that I said to you. I'm sorry. James, stick up for yourself. If you want to be a cheerleader, be one. I'm sick of you and everyone else bossing the room. If I want to be a cheerleader, I'd do my best. See you tomorrow at practice. Bye. Ow, Allison, go get someone. Get someone. I used to be in scouts and I help people with injuries. James! and the team and I would like you to join. That'd be great. James, can I interview you for a more positive article on you joining the team? That'd be great. How does it finally feel to be on the squad? Feels great. James, James, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. I, uh... I wanted to tell you, I'm sorry about what I said. I think you're going to make a great cheerleader. Yes, My pleasure. Go get him, buddy! Ready? Okay. Give me an L. L. You got your L. You got your L. So give me an I. I. You got your I. You got your I. Now give me an O. O. You got your O. You got your O. Now give me an N. N. 
you got your and you got your and now give me an S. S. You got your S. You got your S. Now what does that spell? Lions. Go Lions! Go. I mean, look at your hair, and you don't even dress right. Yes, I do. Then prove it. I, I gotta get to my next classroom. Get out of here, loser. Hi. You're not gonna believe what I saw. Look out there. Oh, my goodness. I think he saw me. Come on, let's go. Show us to everybody. I can't believe we fell for that jerk. We're sorry we underestimated you. Um, that's, that's all right. right. Friends? Friends. 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 Here's why you should vote for me, vote for me for school president. Oh, these guys are phony. Yeah, right. That isn't me. Students, now time to vote for class president. Zach gets only one vote. Clifford gets 399 votes. We give you this 
Medal for being our new school president. Taylor, who voted for Zach? Zach voted for himself. Well, tell me what's happening. What makes you think you have a drinking problem? Every time I'm drinking, I get angry, upset, and aggressive. And if somebody sees me, I hurt them. Like yesterday, Leroy saw me and I threatened him. Do you want to meet again? Because I have to go, and your problem will take some time. Yeah, sure. How about Monday? That'd be great. Be okay with you if I talk to your parents, if I give them a call? Sure. I'll See you Monday. Oh no, not again. I'm telling the counselor. It's a pop. Hi guys, I've got I've got a lot to work on. Thanks, especially to Clifford and Leroy. Do you turn up for the volleyball team? A physical is required if you want to be on the team. Oh, really? Is there anything I need to know before we get started? Yeah, I get these really bad headaches, but it's probably just from practicing. How often do you get these headaches? And do you take anything for them? Yeah, Tylenol, almost every day, but it doesn't really help. Oh, uh, really? Should I be worried? It's probably nothing to be concerned about. I have some bad news. We did an x-ray in the skin she never had. A brain tumor. How serious is it? We caught it in the late stage. It's too large to operate. I, I'm so sorry. How long did she have? Oh, a month or so. Does she know yet? No, not yet. Do we need to tell her? If you would like. How would we? Easy, dear. Chrissy Jo. What, Mom? You better sit down. <laughs> Is this about my boyfriend? I meant to tell you. No, this isn't. What boyfriend? Oh, <laughs> never mind. See, dear, your sister has, has... What's wrong with mom? Your mom is very upset right now. Why? Your sister went to the doctor yesterday. Yeah, I know. Well, the doctor told us that your sister has a brain tumor. <laughs> Is this your idea of a joke? I just saw her in the kitchen. She's fine. Right? No, honey. No! You're lying to me! I told you, it's not funny! Stop! Stop it now! Calm down, Chrissy Jill. Get your hand off me! 
this your idea of a sick joke? I told you, it's not funny. Chrissy Joe, we really need you to be strong right now. We're going to tell Pearl. Would you like to come too? No. No way. I'm not going in there. I'm going to my room, so leave me alone. Now what? Hi, Pearl. Hey, Mom. What's up? Well, we talked to the doctor, and... Well, the doctor told us you have a brain tumor. What? Cancer of the brain. Honey, are you okay? Do I have to get an operation? No, you caught the cancer a little too late. What are you trying to say? Oh no. Don't tell me. Yes, Pearl. I'm so sorry. I think I want to be alone right now. What's going to happen to me now? I'm not going to be able to drive, go to parties, get married, have kids, go to college, have a job, live a happy life. I really need to talk to Mom, Dad, Chrissy Joe. I need to talk to you. Um, I, I'm busy. <laughs> Bye. You can't avoid me forever. I need you right now. You're my sister. Could I have everybody come into the living room? I need to talk to you. my cancer. I don't look forward to living anymore. Instead, I want to make the most of my time while I still can. I realize that I won't be able to have a family of my own or drive or go to college. Oh, Pearl, you don't mean that. No, I do mean it. I need you guys to understand that I don't have that much longer to live, so I think we should just act normal for now. Oh, Pearl. Can I go now? Chrissy Joe, I had enough of your attitude. Chrissy Joe, can I talk to you? Oh, okay, Pearl. Chrissy Joe, I want to know why you've been ignoring me. I just can't believe you're being so cruel. The reason why I was ignoring you was because I was afraid of talking to you. It's not contagious. Didn't you know that? No. I'm sorry. That's okay. I love you. I love you too. Girl, how are you feeling? Tired. Hey, do you want to go for a walk? Come on, let's go. Mm. If you want to. I could use some fresh air. All right. Let's go. 
anybody want to play? Scrabble? Sure. Okay, I'd love to. be that miracle. Anymore. Oh, well, can I get anything before I go? No. I just want to sleep. Oh, no. Okay, be back in a bit. Should I go get some pictures to look at? Sure. Okay. So, you need to work, Michael? Oh, uh, a little. Dear Mom, Dad, and Christy Jo, I just wanted to let you know that I made it home. The journey wasn't an easy one, but it didn't take too long. Everything is so pretty here, so fresh, so white, so new. I wish that you could close your eyes and that you could see it too. Please not, try not to be sad for me. Try to understand. God is taking care of me. I'm in the shelter of his hands. Here there is no sadness, no sorrow, no pain. Here there is no crying, and I'll never hear it again. Here it is so peaceful when all the angels sing. I really have to go for now. I've just got to try my wings. Love, Pearl White. Attention, please. We have a student. His name is Mark Davis. He has a cane. He has sunglasses on. Maybe he's blind. Yeah. 
students, be kind. Math class is over. Eric, Mark, will you please stay after for a minute? Mark, will you teach Eric on some math facts? Well, sure. I don't need help. Eric, I know you think you don't need help, but you do. I don't want no blind kid helping me. Eric, don't be rude. What happened in there? Yeah, what did she want you for? She wanted that dumb blind kid to tutor me. So what do you even think of that new kid? She's kind of dumb. Speak of the devil. What's your favorite football team? What would you know about football? My uncle plays pro football. Sure he does. Here's his card to prove it. Whoa, cool. You think I can get his autograph? Sure. Cool, let's be friends. You're just being my friend because I'm related to a pro football player. Dang. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm reading Braille. Would you like me to teach you? I guess. I'm teaching Luke how to read Braille. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You'd have to be smart to read this. It isn't as easy as you think. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Mark, will you please try to teach our class how to read Braille? All right. Hey, Eric. Yeah, what? You know, Mark's actually pretty cool. Really? Yeah, he's pretty nice. Do any of you know how to read Braille? I do. You taught me how to read Braille. Luke, would you come up and help me teach your class? Are you sure you want me to help you teach your class? You are a fast learner. Each letter has little raised dots. You have to memorize them. I'd like to give you all a copy of the Braille alphabet. Mark, who taught you Braille? My mom and dad helped me learn how to read Braille. This looks hard. Yeah, it does. Mark's pretty smart. Yeah, you were right. He is pretty smart. Mark, can you help me with this? Of course. Mark, maybe I was wrong about you. Mark, I should have been nicer to you. Yeah, sorry I mistreated you earlier. Mark, you're no different than we are except for your disability. Mark, do you want to go to the movies tomorrow? Okay, cool. It's great that we're all friends. Yeah, this is going to be a great movie. I'll pay for you guys' way into the movies. I'll pay for the drinks. I'm blind. How am I going to see the movie? We can explain to you what's happening. That's what friends are for. And now the cast of Can Boys Be Cheerleaders? Hi, I'm Tim Colson. I play the part of James. Hi, I'm Keel Gary, I play the part of Deanne. Hi, I'm Natalie Clara, and I play the part of Allison. Hi, I'm Stephanie, I play the part of Maddie. And now the cast of The Truth. Hi, I'm Marina Arenas, and I play the part of Clipper. Hi, I'm Keenan Spray, and I play the part of Taylor. I'm Nick Gaykin, and I play the part of Leroy. 
I'm Adam Gottschalk, and I played the part of Zach. I'm Crystal Wachter, and I play the part of Jen. And now, the cast of Fighting Against Fear. My name is Sylvester Durant. I played the part of Michael Hammer. Hi, I'm Darcy Kenny, and I play the part of Pearl. Hi, I'm Rachel Lather, and I play the mother. Hi, I'm Ashley Moody, and I play the part of Chrissy Jo. Hi, I'm Charlie Saul, and I play the father. And now, the cast of Blind Courage. Hi, I'm Jean Marie Alcardo, and I played the part of... Pam Smith. Hi, I'm Dana Johnson. I played the part of Mark Davis. Hi, I'm Gillian Lerma, and I played the part of Eric Williams. Hi, I'm Darren Richman. I played the part of Luke Hill. Hi, I'm Destiny Turner, and I played the part of Miss Thompson. <laughs> Okay, folks.